Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy filing the day before Thanksgiving uh, diaper report here from my local Kroger. And I actually have some good news to report. And the good news is that while, as you can see, almost everybody is diapered, uh, there were three other people in the store besides myself who were not wearing the holy rag. And we nodded and smiled at each other. I spoke to one of the guys, made my usual snarky comment about how it's nice to see that I'm not the only person who's still sane in the store. Um, and actually, here's one of the guys that I saw before. Uh, looks like a fine American to me. At least I can see the guy's face, which uh, is a whole lot more than I can say for uh, most of my fellow NPC Americans who aren't my fellow Americans, uh, as I stop to think about it, because I don't want any fellowship with NPC uh, cringers, uh, members of the sickness cult. But at any rate, there seems to be uh, an uptick in diaper defiance, uh, which I take as some good news. Um, my correspondence indicates the same. I'm getting a lot of emails from people who've read things on epautos.com ex expressing their exasperation with it and their determination to not put up with it anymore, come what may. And I think we need more of that. Some of you who follow my stuff may also have seen the video taken um, by, I think it was the owner of a gym, uh, in New York, uh, who, along with a number of other people, stood down the uh, the diaper police who came, uh, a busybody frau with her little clipboard, and uh, I think three or four armed government workers, uh, all of whom were there because somebody called, because somebody had shown their face. And uh, they did an admirable job of telling these sickness police to get off their property, that they had no business being there, that they weren't wanted, that they were trespassing. And kudos to those brave Americans. Those people are my fellow Americans. Those people have the guts that used to characterize Americans back when Americans actually cared about freedom as opposed to safety. So anyway, I thought I'd send along some good tidings um, as we roll into this Thanksgiving where the Gesundheitsführers are telling people how many of their family members will be allowed to eat dinner with them in their private homes, else they have to worry about the SWAT team descending to hut, hut, hut them for not playing sickness kabuki. It's long past time that we stop putting up with this. Uh, personally, I wish we'd stopped putting up with it 20 years ago and we wouldn't have found ourselves in the place that we are right now, but better late than never. And it is absolutely essential that we stand up to it if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives and have our children spend their lives in a sickness gulag, uh, neuroticized, hystericized, obsessed with safety and health even when there's no, there's no legitimate reason to be uh, neuroticized, hystericized, and obsessed with such things. It's time to get back to living our lives. It's time to stop putting up with being Gesundheitsführed into submission. So that's all I've got to say. And again, best wishes to everybody uh, for a free Thanksgiving, not a safe Thanksgiving. Enjoy the good times with your family. Shake hands, hug, do all those normal things. Don't let these creeps destroy your life. And uh, we'll catch up with you again after the holiday.